All right, everybody, it is time for more Peacemaker. And last episode, there was a lot going on. And I think things are finally ramping up now that we have our main plot in place. So this time we went on our first butterfly hunt and it was intense. So I say that this is the first because the previous instance with uh, Peacemaker and the girl, that wasn't meant to happen. It just ended up happening. So this time we are actually actively going after a butterfly that we know is a butterfly. But the issue is with these, with, with this butterfly, there are actually four in it's an entire family. It is actually really kind of uh, sad. So basically, yes, we have the mother, we have the father named Goff, I think it was. Um, and then we have the two children, a boy and a girl. And it begins to turn into a moral issue when it comes to Peacemaker because he doesn't want to kill children. At first, you know, as, as long as we knew Peacemaker, even back in Suicide Squad, he said he'll do whatever it takes to protect this country and, you know, all this stuff. And now you can really put that to the test with the, this type of mission, you know? Like, now when you're looking down the scope of a sniper at children that you have to neutralize because they are confirmed butterflies what do you do and when it came to it peacemaker just couldn't do it so it's really interesting to see exactly where we are forming what, what kind of relationship that we are forming with peacemaker and exactly how this is going to conflict with the rest of his group and his relationship with them because right now when it comes to any sort of um choices we haven't seen Peacemaker having to make that major choice, that major decision to not do something because up until this point, he's done everything that he has, you know, been supposed to do. So yeah, it doesn't end up being him that shoots the family and it, it ends up being Vigilante instead. And he does it while just, I'm pretty sure he was either humming or whistling. I don't remember. It's been, a, it's been like a week and a half since the last episode that I watched. But yeah, I remember it was just so nonchalant for him and the face that Peacemaker had during the whole thing, he was just mortified. But anyways, those two end up getting um, captured by a Judo Master or whatever. <laughs> it was a pretty overwhelming force, even though Judo Master is small, is, is small in stature, but uh, he kicked their ass and... <laughs> Judo Master brings him to Goff because out of the whole family, he's the only, uh, he's the sole survivor. And he decides he's going to actually torture Vigilante in hopes to appealing to Peacemaker's human side. And <laughs> that proves to not be effective to the point where I'm pretty sure uh, Vigilante has pretty much lost all fertility at this point, being zapped by um by starter cables and then he nearly gets his pinky toe cut off but um before that could happen they are able to get saved and we do actually end up killing goth but that's not it <laughs> what happens afterwards is we actually see what's inhabiting um goth and it turns out to be a butterfly so Hence the name Project Butterfly, and that is where we left off, and I am ready to get into episode four, so let's do just that. All right, for the Patreon people, we are going to get started in three, two, one. So after the butterfly flew out of Goff's head, what happened to it? I shot it. Just a little part. Would have been nice to have captured it, but I guess it's good it didn't get away. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm ever going to walk again. <laughs> Why? Motherfucker cut half my pinky toe off. It's the most important toe there is. You know, I have heard that before, though. You can walk without it. You can walk just fine without a pinky toe. fall over all the time and look stupid, and everyone will laugh at you. Ooh, Jesus. What about him? Hey, no! No! Oh, my God. They were ready. You okay to drive now? Yeah. Park out on a day by or go through those boxes from the golf residence. See if there's anything to lead us or the butterflies. Me? Why not John? He's got to keep Judo Master alive. Peacemaker in my office. Oh, is it about him not killing the kid, maybe? What an office. <laughs> you choked last night. You told me to kill kids. You didn't say why. Yeah, okay. Here well, it is. I made a vow to have peace at any cost. No matter how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. But I'm not 
fucking killing kids just because you say so. Uh oh. That's all it is. Because right now the world needs a son of a bitch, and you're the only one I got. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's my favorite. What? Just don't kill him, and I'm happy. His landing's a bit. Uh... I love the I love the nice little hey, side conversations like, and stuff. Like alien bugs that crawl up in the human brains and control people. Good so question. Come back tonight, we'll explain the whole thing. That's what, God damn it! You and your lack of answers. That's a good question. That's what, like that's my thought too. Like the people that are you know being controlled weren't always like that. They got taken over at some point. Oh yeah, she's shaking up too about yeah. I've never killed anyone before. Hell, I'm a pescatarian. <laughs> the truth is, you want to do this job, you can't balk. Ever. You have to make the hard choice when necessary. I gotta go to the bathroom. No. Like again, I'm just gonna keep asking myself, like, what is she like what's her expertise, you know? Like what do you specialize in? Cause right now I don't see why her mother put her in put her in on this except the fact that she's her daughter and she could trust her. Yeah, that's what Black Ops is, dude. Don't worry about Hardcore. She doesn't really like anybody. I mean, I just got to show her and learn that I got what it takes, I guess. Well, I got what it takes. Stomp his ass. <laughs> he just kept hitting him over and over with the, uh, the pipe, was it? Listen, uh, I've been meaning to thank you for... No mask anymore. Last night. <laughs> what? Yeah, but then I realized you were you were just supporting me and helping me to become the best me that I could be, someone who uh, doesn't spill the while. Is that executed and having half his toe cut off? I see you walking okay. Well, I'll probably never walk as good again. Oh my god, he's tried so hard. <laughs> what? It just seems like under the surface you're kinda angry about it. I'm not. <laughs> like well, I'm not at all, dude. Okay, the way you said dude right there? What? Seems myth. I said it like I always say it. He is adorable. I'm sorry. I love him so much. All right, let this be a quick scene. American flag on his lawn. No, no, dude, it's a deep state thing. Or your dad is a racist whack job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank your you. Dad left your mom for another dude. Hey, he did. Oh. oh. Hey, what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. I thought we were talking about dads. <laughs> Jeez. All right, in and out, in and out. Oh, the old guy. He loves those shrubs. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know that his dad got arrested yet, does he? I forgot about that. Does he know the code? Oh, he does. I'm surprised he, his dad trusts him that much. Watched him not be, oh, never mind, they are labeled. X-ray vision, whoa. He's gonna take them all. <laughs> oh, shit, that look evil as fuck. There are gaps in the armor. There are weak points where the cloth is. I thought I told you to wait in the car. All the radio stations oh are playing commercials. How is it so big in this place? It's a quantum unfolding story. Right? It leads to a dimensional nodule outside normal space. Well, I guess your dad's pretty grainy for a racist to make a place like this. <laughs> your dad's a racist, and you work with him. I don't work with him. He makes me stuff. If it walks like a duck, that's all I'm saying. Fuck that's I mean, I don't know oh my God. Speaking, I guess. I guess that's the whole point of the phrase. That and they could give two shits about their best friend's pinky toe. Get out of here. You don't belong here. Don't push me. Is he on their side? That has a coterie of super villains. Joker, <laughs> Riddler, Mad Hatter. So what? You said you were a superhero like Batman. Oh, God. You want to know why I don't have a coterie of super villains? Why? Because they're all dead. Coterie of super villains is six feet fucking under. There he is. <laughs> Batman doesn't kill people. Because he's a pussy. He's a dark creature of the night. He's a jackass. You're going to end up in jail with your father soon enough. Uh-oh. That's how he learns that his dad's in jail. Peacemaker. What the fuck, Mern? The only way to get the cops off our tail is to frame my dad for what I did? My dad, man. Jesus. You ever have a fucking dad? I did. I was created in a Petri dish. <laughs> if you want to come back, we can talk about this like adults. No, no, my dad's in jail. I'm going to see him. Smith, I don't think that's wise. 
Oh yeah, well fuck you, man. You people only fucking care about yourselves anyway. Maybe he'll see how racist his dad really is if he goes to the jail. So you know what? Let him go. Me? <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah, that was all you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Hey, you want me to take you to jail, see your dad? Yeah. Even though I know he's a racist. He admitted it. No. I'm not going to kill my dad. Why not? Because I love him. <laughs> oh. I love how killing is just so trivial for um, my dad and I both hate crime. Vigilante. It's the only thing we agree on. And he makes What's me his stuff, name? Okay? Me? He trusts you most. I think he trusts Harcourt the most. No, he wants to have sex with Harcourt. He trusts <laughs> you. He said you were the only one who was sure wasn't a butterfly. Oh, and oh yeah. Seen his father, that could screw us in a number of ways. Your lack of a resume made me hesitant to bring you onto this team. But Amanda Waller insisted you were ready. Prove her right. Oh shit. Oh, he's tied to the bed anyway. He's he's fine. <laughs> Oh God! How strong are you? He's about to dislocate his thumbs or some shit. I hate this stuff. Don't do it. He's peacemaker. Fuck we, off, Adebayo. He's messed up. We know it, but that doesn't mean you should destroy what we're doing because of it. Economist. <laughs> what the fuck? You... Can you use your car registration for your father's name and change out your fingerprints for his? Don't get his re fingerprints. Well, they're a government bureaucracy. They can, but double-checking things isn't exactly protocol. I have to go talk to him. Do you? Really? <laughs> you know exactly. Right? You don't know shit! It's in your files, Chris. It's Chris now? Okay, he's got his issues, right? Issues? He's a white supremacist who used to dress up as a supervillain called the White Dragon. He's not as bad as he seems! He thinks people what? with my color skin are second-class citizens. That's fucked up, okay? People change. Well, we all want to believe that our parents are flawed but innately good and Yes, say you know, it. That's the case. But not here. Your dad is not a good man. Not to the world and especially not to you. He's still family. Oh God. If y'all need to hear this, you don't owe your family anything. Well, he has to do, <laughs> to do I guess. If, if you, they've wronged you, don't feel like you owe them to stick no, around. No, I was about to cough. You ain't feeling it right now. That's right. He's having the time of his life. You got a visitor. They did what? I know it's fucked up, but I had nothing to do with it. They think this is gonna stick? No, I think. I don't know. All I gotta do is go to these assholes and say, hey, check the fingerprints. They don't match. I know. I saw you come out of your mother's cooch. I should have slit yourself then there. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Feelings for you. Not like your brother. Him, I fucking loved. But you, brother. You were just a blob of flesh I felt nothing for. Maybe There's I'm another not. one of him? Oh shit, I'm scared now. What? I don't mean like a dick. I mean like a, a, a person. You're comparing yourself to a choke. I'm not bad. <laughs> <laughs> this got you so twisted up in that agenda that you're comparing yourself to a little cock. No, this is oh my god. Deep state. Bullshit. No, Dad. If anything, we're working against the deep state. I'm no rat, but the first chance I get, I'm spilling everything. Guards, open it up. All right. Well. Get him out of here. You think they'll arrest Peacemaker in there? I hope not. We still need him for our job. <laughs> a good man like you oh you think I'm a good man? yeah but his father <laughs> right one of the worst people to ever set foot on this planet <laughs> now, Chris, he has a big heart so he wants to find something to love there but there there is nothing to love inside of that man yeah i still can't find it to be honest kills me I just wish there was some way he would Is she Wait. Is Vigilante oh. gonna like try to kill him? <laughs> you gonna try to <laughs> persuade him to kill his father? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think she meant to do that, did she? Where's Vigilante? Vigilante? 
That was vigilante. Shut up. He had something to do. I don't know. <laughs> What's your dad say? Son, he's gonna rat us out. Hey, what do we do about your dad? Yeah. Myron will work it out. It'll be fine. I just didn't want you to get arrested while you were in there. Burn said I gotta keep eyes on vigilante. <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll be fine too. Is he really gonna try to kill his dad? Uh, maybe I misread the situation, but I feel like that's what's about to happen. He's gonna attempt right. it. My dad hates my guts. Everybody hates my guts. I'm a chode. Not the best guy. <laughs> that's a good kind. I don't hate your guts, and I think you're the, the good kind of chode. <laughs> I love her. Thanks. How much damage can he do right now, realistically, you know? Oh my god. Oh, is, is he gonna try to get himself arrested so then he can get close to uh, Chris's father? <laughs> Just slap a cop. That's a lot less effort. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I'll get on the ground all day long. <laughs> Watch my pinky toe on my right foot. Uh, you, pinky toes aren't that important. You don't need it to walk or anything, but I sustained an injury. Now they got someone else to worry about in jail. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, my God. We are so incredibly <laughs> fucked. Oh, no. This level fucked, okay? I checked the restraints. They were tight. I don't know how the fuck he got loose. Fuck. Rematch. <laughs> I think Cobra Kai just got out. <laughs> Cobra Kai. <laughs> hey, I want to see that detective song. I got some information about the case. All right. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? The hallway window. All right, rematch between him and Judo Master. I Judo Master whooped that ass, and it was a one v two. So uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus! Ooh we. No. Idea. Fireflies. They're not what you think. They are. Uh, uh oh. Leota? Oh, shoot. She killed her first person. I'm going to win that fight. <laughs> oh, she's traumatized. This was a big rematch. But, but, but what was he going to say? What was he gonna say? Oh god, something's wrong. Oh, you still have it. These martial artists, they are hardcore. Their heart stops beating, they just concentrate and move a kidney up into its place. No one has ever replaced their own heart with a kidney. We have to get him back inside. Hey, what do you think he's about to say? The butterflies, isn't that what you think? They're Oh god. This is even more complicated than we thought, probably. <laughs> it's just you know, realistically, this guy could probably kill them all. <laughs> That's crazy to think about. If he really wanted to. Good soundtrack for this for this show. Ooh, what is that? A butterfly. Oh, they captured it. I thought it flew away or something. The issue is he has a lot of people following under him, so I feel like if he just goes outright to attack him, he's gonna get ganged up on. No, Eagly. Eagly, hey, hey. Oh, that that could have been bad. It could have broken and then inhabited fucking Peacemaker or something. Be supportive. And this time you didn't balk, huh? The first time I killed someone, I didn't have my period for three months. And then it gets easier? No, not really. Mm. When it's good, it hurts. Otherwise, you become like Amanda Waller and you start treating uh, like nothing. Damn. First, I manipulated Vigilante into going into prison. Okay, so she fire. does know that she... What? What, what she was doing. Every time you turn around, one of you is doing something fucked up. 
soldiers. Seeing as we're already losing peacemakers' trust, how's it going to feel when he finds out we manipulated his best friend into oh, his yeah. father? I did a thing about that. Mm. What? You said best friend, okay? <laughs> I'm just making sure we're all on the same He's like, I fucking hate these people. Someone here <laughs> thinks that Adebayo convinced Eagly to kill Peacemaker's father. Who would think that? <laughs> Our court. Fuck you. Can you get Vigilante out of the system before he screws us worse than we already screwed? <clears throat> that was him. easy. Adrian Chase, the Vigilante. That's him. Wasn't he our bus boy at Fennel Fields? <laughs> oh, that's where I saw his fucking face. I don't know. Let's each say something that we're grateful for that black people have contributed to American culture. Oh, God. Are you joking right now? No. Hey, look, I'll go first. I'm grateful that black people gave us rock and roll music. Music would just sound like, well, what it sounded like before black people, which was the wet, sloppy sounds of fucking your sister. <laughs> Okay, so that's my oh. Whip that ass. Oh no, you're not gonna gold me and do attacking you. Oh he's smart. Both of you. Yo, oh shit. This dude did nothing. You're a bad dad. I need to talk to Detective Storm now. Oh shit. That didn't go as planned, but What's it say in my file about what my dad did when I was a kid? What? Adebayo just said there was some stuff in there. Fine. It says that he trained you to kill from when you were very young. And it says that your brother died under mysterious circumstances. <gasps> oh. And that you were involved in that. Wow. Thanks. Oh. God. I, I really, I do feel bad for him. Like, this is, <laughs> this is rough. But I hope we get more of a backstory on his childhood and his brother because that sounds interesting very interesting she's really distancing herself from everyone <laughs> she's gonna get the fucking butterfly high free to go me yeah was a murder Yeah, you go. You go watch him this time. I bet. <laughs> oh man! Why is he just staring at it like that? Jesus, <laughs> he's like soulless. It feels like. Oh, she helped him. Wow, I didn't expect that. Oh, I don't like seeing him sad. It makes me sad. Oh, oh, I want to give him a hug. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh, we saw his brother. Oh, I'm getting sad. Wow. I did not expect to get this sad over on a, on a show like this. Wow, I almost teared up. Oh, God. Hmm. What is wrong with you? Something ain't right with you. <gasps> no way. No way. Yo, okay, that was the best episode by far. It had everything. It had comedy, action. It had, the, the writing was amazing. Like, <laughs> Even had like emotional moments. So it's just like, 
I did not expect to get this much stuff from a show like this. I thought it was just going to be, you know, a, a fun, relaxing show. But that, this was, this is insanely good. Like, you know, I never really thought of John Cena as this major hard-hitting actor, right? Or anything like that. But he, he is proving to know, like, he knows how to act. He, he's proving that. And, like, I, I'm enjoying his development. And... Um, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of self-reflection that um, that's happening that I didn't expect to get from a series like this. But it's nice to see that he is growing, right? It's nice, it's nice to see that he is admitting, you know, that his family is messed up and, you know, that his father is messed up. And hopefully we get more information on his brother. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, like this show is insanely good and i mean honestly again i thought it was just gonna be like a silly you know a, a, an overly silly show that 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 you can just watch when you're bored or high or whatever the fuck you do while you watch stuff like this but this is an actual entertaining show it's good there's twists and turns like as far as a writing you know from I wrote books and stuff like that. So as far as a writer's aspect, when it comes to balancing comedy and action and mystery and suspense, all this stuff, you they give you that. And it's not just some overly silly stuff that can't be explained or that, you know, that's glossed over because, oh, it's just meant to be funny. You know, that kind of thing. So I enjoy when... Um, Shows are, are capable of doing more than one genre. I'll just say it like that. Because right now it's hitting everything. Shit, I almost fucking teared up when I saw the when I saw the um the, the flashback of the brother. It was like that they know how to pull your heartstrings, and I appreciate that. And you know, with, with shows like this, I, I'm glad that they realize one, I'm glad that they, that they realize the type of show that they are, but I'm also glad that they understand that that they can be more than just that funny show or more than just a sequel of the suicide squad you know they're making this into their own thing and i appreciate that but anyways if you're looking for full length episodes anime other shows that we're probably watching shows or movies check out Ezra.tv or check out the patreon um any support would be appreciated of course and if you are watching on this on YouTube, then most likely you notice that there's a lot of filtering going on right now. Copyright is hell for me, so this is my best alternative that I can. So if you want to watch filterless um, reactions with 100% opacity as well as upped um, episode audio, check out the website. You will not be disappointed. It is 30 times better than what, I, than what you see on YouTube. But anyways... Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of your day slash night, and I will see you next time. Subscribe.